Welcome to Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Killer Tips, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. Here's your host, Matt Kluskowski. All right, let's take a look at the clarity slider here. This was new in 1.1 and kind of let you know who this video is for. It's for those that want to know a little bit more, okay? If you're happy just using the slider, you don't care what's going on behind the scenes, then by all means, skip it. But if you want to know just a little bit more about what's going on with clarity, so you'll know a little bit more about what you're doing to your photo, then by all means, this is the video for you. All right, so I've got a gradient here, very simple image. We'll start out with this. We'll move to a photo in just a moment, but got a black to white gradient. And when I adjust things like exposure, it changes the gradient. Recovery, you could see it changes the gradient. Same thing with fill light, same thing with blacks, all right? But when I go down to clarity, watch what happens here. Nothing, all right? I'm moving it between zero and 100, and nothing is really happening to our gradient here. All right, so that's kind of telling us something right there, but let's switch to another image. And this is one I did in Photoshop, just a black to white gradient, but I added a posterized adjustment to it. Okay, and that's what gave me these edges. Now let's take a look. I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's go to a three to one and really zoom in. Let's go to the dark areas inside the image here. All right, I'm gonna increase the clarity from zero to 100. All right, and you can see this is before and then that's at 100, and you can see a little bit happening here, but we're in the blacks, we're in the shadows. It's not really affecting that, all right? Now as we move into the midtones more, now let's drop it back down to zero, move it back to 100. See what's happening? It's kind of snapping along these edges and giving just a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punch to some of these already kind of high contrasted type of areas and that's we saw what's happening because we saw when we just had the gradient it didn't do anything all right and now let's take a look at the highlights again you'll see a little bit of a change here but not too much okay so it's really affecting our midtones kind of leaving the highlights alone kind of leaving the shadows alone and really working on giving just a little bit more midtone contrast look at the great look at the histogram here all right this is at zero and that's at 100, not really affecting anything over here, and it's not really affecting anything over here. Now, let's move over to a photo, um, because yes, clarity does work on photos too, not just gradients. And take a look here. So we saw that clarity really just affected the midtone area. So let's take a look at the rocks here. Let's zoom into a one-to-one. -one. And this is at zero, and as I start to increase, see that? See how it's getting a little bit more contrasty inside the rocks? It's hard to pinpoint what's going on, but you can see it. It's usually a really nice adjustment. I haven't found many photos that I just leave clarity at zero. It's usually a setting that I at least put up to 40 or 50 for most photos. All right, so zero, 100. Now, take a look at what it's doing here. Remember our highlights? They're kind of being left alone. We have a lot of dark areas in the trees. You don't really see too much happening here inside the trees. The most, the biggest place that you see the adjustment here is happening right here in the mountains. And that's where a lot of the midtones in the, this photo happen to be. All right, kind of leaving the sky alone, leaving the trees alone. Those are kind of dark. And it's really just happening in the midtones. And as you saw from that gradient example, it's really just happening to the edges. Clarity's looking at those edges and it's giving a little bit of a mid-tone contrast boost there as opposed to boosting the contrast in the entire photo, which we could do just as easily with the contrast slider. And in fact, just to show you that they're different, take a look at the gradient example again. If I move the contrast slider, see how it moves our gradient? All right, so contrast is definitely doing something different than what clarity does, all right? A lot of folks think that clarity is just contrast. Well, it's not because you can see the difference here. Contrast is doing something different. Clarity is looking for those edges where contrast really isn't. So very cool slider. Uh, absolutely do not need to know all of this. If you want to use it, just move it until your photo looks good. However, if you want a little bit more, then uh, I think this is a great introduction for you as to what clarity is kind of doing behind the scenes.